I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. There are three ways that we can reduce recoil and improve performance of our rifles. But there's one thing that we need to think about before we go changing it around. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's first take a look at the um, Armor Light AR-10 here, uh, three gun competition. And that's what this was made for. Um, now, this comes with an aggressive muzzle brake, okay? That's pretty nice, and that'll help reduce the recoil a lot there. And then also, um, it comes with the Timney single-stage trigger. So, um, so those two things I would leave alone on this gun, but there's one, one change that we could make on this gun. And at the time this video is being made, this one, this one cost me around $21.74. So, um, and that's brand new. Um, so... Now, the only thing is that these come with these uh, buffer springs back here. So this would be the first thing that we would want to change out to make it a little bit smoother and a little bit more quieter. So that would be like a silent captured spring that you can get. And you have to check out the prices because uh, they range from anywhere from $78 to all the way up to $139. So, you know shop around and see which one you can get but that's that would be the only thing that i would change on this armor light uh, ar-10 here is just the buffer spring the trigger's fine it's a four pound pull and that's what it's supposed to be for a uh, ar-10 and then when you get down to an ar-15 then that would be a three pound pull but anyway that th that would be the only change that i would make with this gun but everything else is fine with it so now Let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, M4 here. Basically, it's an AR-15. Um, and uh, talk about this one here. Now, this one I changed out. It came with a standard uh, muzzle brake, and it wasn't very aggressive at all. Um, so I changed, it was one of those bird cages, and I changed it out to an Apollo Max. Now the Apollo Max is kind of nice because you don't have to have a crush washer with this. It's just a timing nut. So, um, but it is very aggressive. It's very stylish. And as you will see, it, it fires very nice, nice, no recoil as much. And it's very flat shooting with this. So basically when you just have the standard muzzle brake, like a bird cage, it's just going to rise up on you when you when you fire the gun and also it's going to go slightly over to the right well with this Apollo Max what I like about it is that doesn't happen with this gun now so you know once this once this starts firing it fires flat in it in it there's no rise at all so it's it's nice to shoot the only other change I would make with this gun now this gun I primarily use for a home protection gun so I'm not going to mess around with the trigger okay and that's one thing that I, we're going to talk about in a little bit here is we don't want to change our trigger unless it's for like a three gun competition something like that or you're just going to be using it for pleasure and it's not going to be sitting next to your bed as a home protection weapon okay so we have to be careful when we when we think about the trigger but Colt made these for this is an le 6940 and so le is law enforcement so they shipped them to law enforcement agencies with a seven pound trigger okay and that's the way they they come right out of the box and that's what you want for a duty rifle okay so enough but there is one thing that we could change here we could go to a, a silent captured spring back here so it basically comes with the same thing it comes with uh comes with these and these are supposed to be music wire um, I don't know if that's anything special or not leave a comment down below if you know why that would be so special if, since these are music wires but um, they're noisy they're grindy sounding and it's just a lot smoother to have a silent captured spring so 
those would be the you know the muzzle brake helps a lot and and the silent spring would help a lot too with this but since it's a home protection weapon i wouldn't mess around with the trigger okay now if we look at this this other ar10 here this is actually a super sas so this does come with the standard um, buffer spring that you can change out on this if you want and also you could change out the muzzle brake um, on this one this is more of a flash hider type thing it's a combination uh, muzzle brake and flash hider but the only thing that i changed on this super sas now this is my one of my shtf um, rifles and the only thing i changed out on it was i changed out the mil spec trigger and i put in a geisley two-stage trigger so uh, the first stage is like two pounds, and then the last stage, the second stage, is about a pound and a half. Um, and it's a very crisp trigger. Um, Geisley makes really good triggers. So, but anyway, um, you know, if you're going to change out your, your muzzle brake, make sure that you invest in one of these blocks that you put, put over the receiver. So you're going to have to take the upper off and put this block around the receiver and but before you do that you have to t pull the bolt carriage out so we would we would pull the bolt carriage out and then we would insert this in to where the bolt carriage goes now this actually helps protect it when you put it in the vise so it doesn't get crushed okay but you know i was lucky when i changed this one out um, I went over to my neighbor's house and I borrowed his vise because you have to have a good size vise it, it has to open up at least you know around seven eight inches to get this once you get this block around the receiver and everything you're going to need a good seven eight inches to to slip it in there and tighten it up but I was really lucky that the guy before me that owned this this gun he didn't put any blue loctite on it and it came off really easy in fact I invested in this special wrench um, and uh, to take the muzzle brake off and this fits perfect on there because I didn't want any slop when I went to take it off because I didn't want to damage anything on the old muzzle brake but these are around $78 so and this block was expensive too I think this block was upwards around $100 but it did come with this um, uh, bolt carrier protector so that slides in there but I would invest in those three things before you start taking off your muzzle brake but once you do and you get a new muzzle brake on there that either Apollo Max or another aggressive style like that and by the way the uh, Apollo Max is made by Eurodyne so and they're easy to find on the internet but before you invest and and change out your muzzle brake make sure you get the protection you're going to need it's just like it's just like buying insurance you know um, now I always have this and it'll, it'll fit most AR-15s uh, so no big deal um, it probably wouldn't fit the AR-10 um, it's a little bit bigger than that so but any AR-15 you'd be able to change it out but anyway before I would buy one for an AR-10 I would just see if I could just you know have someone hold it while I change it out since I was lucky with the AR with the M4 there okay so now um, before we move on to the um, uh, trigger and talk more about that let's uh, let's um, um, go over the muzzle brake one more time now what a muzzle brake is going to do for you like I have on here again this M4 um, what it's going to help you do it's going to help you with your follow-up shots yeah mostly um, but there again we're reducing recoil quite a bit by changing out our, our um, buffer spring putting in the the new um, silent captured spring and then we change to a more aggressive muzzle brake so you know the the follow-up shots are very important and that's that's what this muzzle brake is going to help you do before we change our trigger out um you know there's a saying that uh, friends don't let friends drive intoxicated and same way with the trigger 
friends, friends don't let friends change out their trigger. Okay, so, um, and, and the reason behind that is because it, it depends on what your rifle is going to be used for. Now, if you want a gun that's just for pleasure shooting, uh, see how fast you can shoot and, and how, how well you can do your follow-up shots and things like that, then I would have that gun just particularly for that. Or if you're using it for competition, you can set it up that way with a faster trigger. Now, there's two companies out there, and um, they're not sponsoring me at all for this. But anyway, there's either Geisley or there's another one, uh, Timney. Now, the Timney trigger, they sell a single stage trigger that you might like. So the Geisley uh, SD3G is a very fast trigger, and it has a very positive reset. And we'll go over the, the resets on these triggers the way I have them set up on my guns. But now that, that trigger is specifically for three gun competition or just a pleasure gun that you're going to go out and, and shoot fast with. So I wouldn't use that as a home protection weapon or a do, any type of other duty type of weapon. Now also there's a, there on, on the website, Geisley, I'll, and I'll show you a picture of this too, is Geisley does not recommend this for guns that are going to be used for duty, bench rest shooting, uh, shooting um, tight groups with. Um, so anything that you're shooting on the bench or, or you're trying to get accurate scores with, that trigger, the SD3G, would not be a good trigger for that and it's not safe either for, for a duty rifle. So and in that duty rifle category, we include a home protection uh, firearm as well. Okay, so, so the, your home protection weapon would have a six to seven pound pull. That's what's recommended for a home protection. All right, so, but let's go over these triggers and um, uh, let's talk about this. Um, now the Timney trigger that was that came, that came with this armor light uh, ar-10 here um, now this is the single stage trigger now timney uh, the timney trigger was used in the gun that set the world record at 4.4 miles which would be around 7774 yards um, and that they built that gun specifically for that uh, long distance shooting, but they installed a Timney trigger. So that might be another better option for you too. Um, but try one of those too. So this one, this Armor Light AR-10 here comes with a Timney trigger. So let's go ahead and clear this rifle and make sure that we don't have anything in here. And all right, so we're good to go here. Now with the single stage trigger, you don't have that positive reset that you do with the Geisley sd 3 Okay, I'm going to squeeze the trigger and I'm going to hold it down. Okay. You hear it? Now, that didn't push my finger forward as much as a Geisley SD3G would. Okay, it's very slight. That's one nice thing about the Timney trigger. All right, so. So what, what I'm saying is, to sum this whole thing up, it's safe to change your muzzle brake out to a, to a more aggressive muzzle brake to help keep it flat and, and do a better job with your follow-up shots. It's, it's safe to change out the buffer spring to a silent captured spring. So if you do those two changes right there, you're gonna have a nice setup, okay, without changing the trigger if it's going to be used for home protection weapon and then you just shoot off the bench once in a while and things like that. But now if you're going to do a competition rifle and, and build it up, then I would definitely do those two things, the muzzle brake and the captured spring, and also I would change it out to a trigger. And then you're just gonna have to, you know, shop around for you know what the best price is for you 
And, you know, if you want a positive, more positive reset, I would go with the Geisley SD 3G. But once you have your finger on that trigger, it's ready to fire and it's going to fire fast. That's why you don't use these triggers for home protection or any other type of duty type of um, scenario. Okay, so make sure when you're ready to fire, if you have on a, if we have on a, Geisley SD3G you know keep your finger make sure you keep your finger outside the trigger guard until you're ready to fire because it will fire fast okay that's what the the trigger was made for it was made for competition okay tight end close in group shooting so and close um, very fast uh, follow-up shots alrighty but anyway I um, appreciate you watching and share this video make sure you leave a comment down below and tell me about your uh, rifle build uh, I, I appreciate hearing from you thanks again for watching